this definition though, honey. Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie and I am so happy that you are here. Before we get started today, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Just join the Alyssa Marie XO fam, I promise you will not be disappointed. We have lots and lots of fun over here, so just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. For today's video, we are focusing all about curl definition and more specifically, curl definition after a wash and go. So I'm gonna be spilling the tea, sis, okay? All of my top tips, and techniques and little tricks that I like to do in order to get like crazy major definition after a wash day is what I'll be sharing with you guys today. I'll also be sharing my number one favorite product combo at the moment to get some insane, insane, insane definition that's gonna last you at least four to five days. I've done it, it's tried and tested and true. At least it is for my curls. <laughs> so let me stop talking here and let's go on over to my shower so we can get started. All right, so let's get started. Here I am in my shower. So I went ahead and already washed my hair as usual because you guys have already seen me wash my hair like hundreds of times. So um, just as an FYI, I use the regular stuff. I did my Diva Curl Original No Poo for cleansing. And then as a deep treatment, I went in with my Diva Curl Heaven and Hair Mask. So I've literally like just, just washed this out. And we're gonna go ahead and style for some major definition. Now, the reason why I'm still in my shower is because that's like step one of like major key. When you are aiming for like major, ultimate, ridiculous definition in your curls, you are gonna wanna apply your products while your hair is literally soaking wet. Like it's been dripping here a little bit, but I'm still gonna kind of like re-wet it as I apply these products because that is when you're gonna find your definition is insane. I really feel like techniques are like major key when it comes to getting your hair to look like the way you want it to. So yes, products are super, super important, but technique and like how you apply them and what you do is just as important. So I feel like products are half the battle, technique is the other half, and when you've got both, it's lit. All right, so in terms of products today for styling, I'm gonna go in with my Diva Curl Super Cream as our leave-in conditioner, and then I'm going in with my Kinky Curly Curling Custard. It is so bomb, and these two products are actually two of my all-time favorite products of life. And when you use them together, it's like a freaking match made in heaven. First thing I'm gonna do is section my hair. And when I am looking for insane definition, I section my hair in more than like just two halves. Today, like we are on a mission for that definition. Yes, bars. <laughs> so yeah, instead of two halves, I'm going to do maybe three, four. We'll find out soon. That is really gonna help us to get in with the products everywhere. Okay, so this is gonna be our first section. So before I apply any product, I'm gonna go ahead and wet it because again, we need it to be dripping wet. So I'm gonna re-wet it and then I'm gonna go in with my super cream first and then my kinky curly. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to kind of comb it all through my hair. Drip it. So I find that when I just comb the product through my curls with my fingers, that is how I get the most definition ever. Not with a denim and brush, not with a comb, nothing. My fingers is really what gets the magic. All right, now in with our kinky curly. All right, so here is a close-up. I mean, frizz wear. Another important technique or like tip is to make sure your product is always kind of evenly distributed throughout your curls. You also don't want to forget about these roots. If you forget to distribute the products to your roots as well, you are just gonna end up with like puffy roots. So don't forget the roots when you're combing through your curls. I also usually like to just kind of scrunch it. Oh my gosh, you guys gotta hear this. So this is how you know you've done it right. If you scrunch your curls with the product in it and the sound's all squishy, like this, that's how you know your curls are wet enough and you've done it right. All right, so on to the next section, we're just gonna repeat these steps throughout my hair in different sections. Alright, 
and then I usually like to add just a little bit of extra curling custard to the front just for a little bit of added shine. One of the other things I do, like for example here, I see a teensy bit of frizz right here. If you have any little spots that are giving a little bit of trouble, I just kind of run my fingers through, smooth out the curl, and boom, it starts to behave. You wanna keep doing this and make sure all of the little frizzy spots are kind of smoothed out while it's still wet. All right, so that was pretty simple and easy. I'm pretty happy with how the curls look right now. How your curls look while they're wet are a really, really good indication of how they're gonna look when they're dry. So if you're in the shower and you're already experiencing like a high level of frizz and it's just not clumping together, that usually means that your hair is pretty much gonna dry a little bit worse than it actually looks when it's wet. So you might want to go back and try and add more moisture if you do experience something like that. Also, I ended up just doing like three sections. Um, if you have thicker hair than me, you might want to consider maybe doing five to six sections. That way you can really make sure that the product is getting into every single curl. All right, so now for the very last step and my last technique or tip for getting major definition is to diffuse. You guys always see me diffuse. As usual, I only like to diffuse until it stops kind of dripping on me and then I let it air dry the rest of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and just diffuse really quickly now. So I am finished diffusing. My hair is still wet, of course, but it's not dripping anymore. So this is usually the stage, like I said, where I just leave it and let it air dry for the rest of the way. You may have noticed that for diffusing, I didn't actually like flip my hair over and diffuse. Um, and I did that for a specific reason because when you do that, you end up getting a lot more volume. And sometimes that can make your volume outweigh your curl definition a little bit. So instead I kind of, you know, I. I'm going for the little side swept bang thing so I've decided which way I want my hair to fall and then I just kept it like that as I continued to diffuse my hair. Alright so I'm just going to go ahead now and let this air dry for maybe like an hour or two and then I'll meet you guys back in the studio so we can discuss the final results. All right, so here we are back in the studio, put on a little makeup, you know, you know. So my hair is about 75% dry right now, um, but I figured I would still come in here and show you guys the results. Like, look at these curls, they are so defined, and there's minimal frizz, and honestly, they're not even weighed down. I just wanted to verbally again go over the techniques that we used. So one, we made sure that our hair was soaking wet. Two, we made sure that we applied the products with our fingers and kind of just combed it through our curls instead of using any tools like a brush or a comb. Three, we made sure that we applied product to our roots as well as our ends, like straight from the roots to the tips so that it was evenly distributed throughout our entire head of hair. Four, we made sure to section our hair out a little bit more than usual so that we can ensure every single curl got some product. And finally, we made sure to use our diffuser a little bit to help to encourage some additional curls. Honestly, I really love these techniques. I swear by them. This is honestly what I do every single Sunday in order for my hair to last me throughout the work week because ain't nobody got time to do a wash day in the middle of the week. I also love these products specifically because they are so refreshable. And what I mean by that is that it's like super, super easy to refresh my curls when these products are in it. So when I just go in with my DIY spray, which is a mixture of just water and conditioner, y'all already know, I just find that like it just wakes the product back up very easily. And if you're dealing with any frizzy spots or anything like that, just a little bit of spritz of water and then smooth it through your fingers again, just like how we did earlier, and boom, you're back and ready to go. Not all products are like that. I feel like there are some gels, some leave-in conditioners that I've used before that aren't as easy to refresh. Like some gels really don't enjoy being refreshed. Sometimes they'll get a little flaky, you'll see a little white cast, and it just ends up being like a frizzy mess. But I really feel like Super Cream as well as the Kinky Curly Curling Custard 
they are just so refreshable. I really, really hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, as usual, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, why not? I would really love to have you join the Alyssa Marie EXO fam here on YouTube. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will leave a video for you right here to just continue binge watching. You know, it's fine. I won't judge you. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.